Sit there while I tell you just how beautiful you look tonight As if you haven't heard me say it about a hundred times You shake your head and look away Carrie Beth, there's a quote that I love that I think embodies the person that you are perfectly. It goes, always pray. Um, pray to have the eyes that see the best in people, a heart that forgives the worst, a mind that forgets the bad, and a soul that never loses faith in God. truly do have the eyes that see the best in every person you meet. Um, people gravitate towards you because you have this huge heart. You're slow to judge, you're quick to forgive, and your faith never wavers. I vow to continue to encourage you to be that amazing woman that I fell in love with. And because no one's perfect, I vow to forgive you on the days you fall short and to always remind you how amazing you truly are. I vow to make you laugh on the days that you're taking life too seriously. I vow to take you to Chick-fil-A on the days you're hangry. <laughs> and above all else, I vow to simply be there, whether it be to smile, laugh, and celebrate on days like today, when we're surrounded by those we love, or on the bad days to hold you, to comfort you, and to listen. I'll, I'll, I'll simply be there for you every day, no matter what. I love you. Through, I'll make it worth your while. Cause every minute, every hour, every day I want to make it. Uh, Luke, <laughs> I never would have imagined that out of all the people in this world, I would find someone as kind, humble, um, caring, and special as you. You are my best friend, my one true love. I promise to love you unconditionally and comfort you in times of distress, encourage you to, to achieve all your goals and dreams. I promise to laugh with you and cry with you and grow in mind and spirit and always be open and honest with you. I promise to create a home where Christ is experienced and cherished by faithfulness, peace, and forgiveness. I will keep our lives exciting, adventurous, <laughs> and full of passion, and try to sit still and relax sometimes, and take a nap. Uh, I will never leave you. Where you go, I'll go, and where you stay, I'll stay. My home is with you. I will never divorce you. Whatever chapters we have left in this life together, we've experienced together. We make such a good team. And I know that I'm not perfect and at times I will fail to be the wife you deserve, but because of who Jesus is and because of he's the center of our lives, I'm confident our life and our love will be full. Thank you for choosing me, for pursuing me, and making me fully known and fully loved. You're the greatest gift God has given me. Mm. <laughs> With the power invested in me, all right, uh, it is my pleasure to announce for the second time, okay, all right, Luke and Carrie Beth Roddy, everybody. Oh, yeah. You're taking me by. You're taking me by. The Lord bless you to give you. When the world was small, everything was ours. You're taking me by. 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 When everything was slower. Taking me back to better days. Luke, you have made Carrie Beth so happy from the start. The way you admire her and love her is something that I am so grateful for. Carrie Beth, you are the most faithful, loyal, strong, and forever friend a girl could ask for. You are a perfect bride, and I have loved celebrating your love. I am so happy you found your person and have started your journey together forever. Take me back to the better days. You're taking me back. You're taking me back. When the world was smaller and everything was ours. Take and Carrie, Beth, and Luke, I couldn't be happier to be here with you guys today and to continue to be with each other for the rest of our years. Um, so please raise your glass with me and cheers to Carrie Beth and Luke and the good life they had together. <laughs> we, we love you guys. We love both of you individually. We love you even more as a couple. You guys are amazing. Um, can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. Cheers to Luke and Carrie Beth.
Today we watched Carrie Beth and Luke renew their vows up there on the mountain and uh, again they asked that you once again on your anniversary take a toast from this cup that your mother and I used during our wedding. It symbolizes the coming of together of two families. So it symbols the love, faithfulness, and good luck to those who drink from it. I wish you two nothing but the very best the world has to offer. So let's again join them in a drink and thank you all for being here and let's have a lot of fun and enjoy the evening.